<laughs> so you so you can be a dumbass NT, not just me. Hey, everybody is a dumbass sometime in their life. It's and it's not really just like a, a mindset that you're a dumbass. It's like a little thing just triggers in your brain that says, be stupid. And the only thing your mind can think is, okay. <laughs> hey, I learned from the best. Unfortunately, They're I can't teachers do that who, with uh, regards to this game. <laughs> oh, by the way, this room was really annoying. Oh yeah, I hated this room the first time I came through. I was like, what the fuck do I do? What the fuck do I do? No, even when you know what to do, it just takes a while. I also hate it when that happens. Yeah. That's kind Respawning of platform! And not to mention, uh, if you're an idiot like me and you fail in the next boss fight, you have to keep doing that. Oh my god, don't tell me you did that. I thought you said you were going to spoil the game for me. Wave beam! Get wave beam quick before boss comes. That's not gonna happen. You idiot! You fail. I know you can't get it beforehand, but that would have been awesome if you could. Still though, how the hell does it? How the hell does this boss guard the wave beam? Does he? Is he like part machine too? Does that? Is that how he controls the platform that sits that the wave beam sits on? I didn't even think these were. I didn't even think these things were intelligent. Well, apparently they're intelligent enough to want to hurt you. That's Although that could be instinct. I might be wrong. I was about to say that's not intelligence. That's instinct. <laughs> and I hey, I've been reading my D and D cool books too. And frequently, but I do read them every now and then. I finally figured out the. Uh, that the charge beam is better used against these guys than the missiles. Yeah, less of a waste. Then again, most of the time when I played through on easy mode, I was like, um, I'm gonna conserve my, I'm gonna go crazy on my missiles. And in hard mode, I was like, okay, that was a bad idea. Come conserve on, missiles, charge beam everything to death. Hit the ass for massive damage. God. The only thing that's going to have more ass than this uh, commentary is going to be that retarded show with um, that stupid kid that's always referring to his ass. I forget what it was called. Scary. Eh, all is scary if you're if you're Raikou writer. My first time through hard mode, I died so many times to her. You mean the trial run? No, my very first hard mode. Oh. Because on, I know on normal you only have to shoot like six missiles into her neck. Oh. You got stomped. She hurts. That's why you're not supposed to let her trample you. She's close. And shoot her too to make her attack you. And also, don't get near her ass, because she'll charge you. She'll be like, huh, that girl's near my ass. I better kill her. Well, um, missile canceling is actually pretty useful here. Because you can really only hurt her with missiles. Yeah. What do you do if you run out of missiles in this fight? Well, I think there's some boxes around the side you can use to recharge your missiles. And if you run out of missiles then, then I think like if you fire a charge shot at point blank range, you'll actually hit her before it gets absorbed by her little dancing necklace thing on her back. I don't understand. Because I did remember, I did end up beating this boss just by bl blasting with charge shots. It just took like about half an hour. Well, I'm not Like I said, I had the... Cr oh, sorry. Ow. Anyway, 
I have I have plenty of missiles, so that's not gonna happen. I don't know why I did that. Oh yeah, I think actually if I remember it, you can also hurt the boss by be going under it and bombing it. Of course that's very dangerous. Yeah. But it's an alternative to um, shooting it with missiles. I actually never figured But I think out. it does about as much damage as a missile. I say, if it did more damage than a missile, then it might be worth it, but you just don't have the health at this point. I think it either does like the same or more, I forget. Someone might clarify on, on watching because they might be like crazy knowledgeable in this game. It's called speedrunners. Yeah. Okay, speedrunners, if any of you are watching this, are missiles more damaging? Whichever the first one to tell us wins one internet coupon. <laughs> However, unfortunately, condemning it in any way results in insta fail. Hey, I gotta get rid of those internet coupons somehow. Just having them is fail. There we go. And boss gives you five experience. Da, 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 da. More importantly, and wave beam. Bend the arm pump go! Yay, we can open more doors now. And we actually and have a halfway And you can kill a lot more enemies. We have a halfway decent beam weapon now. I actually like the wave beam. Uh, norm, if I don't know what weapon to use, or I go in a new area, I always use the wave beam by default because it had good, you know, good speed, good damage. Unlike the, yeah. unlike the ice beam, which is slow as hell. Well, the um, well, the fort. I mean, well, the. Char you know, the regular ch uh, power beam is more of like your force damage attack. There's really, uh, there's no real easy way to defend against it. The, the charge beam is like your electrical attack. Fast, I mean fast and arcing as hell. And also, and um, um your plan Another reason why what? I like the wave beam is because uh, when you lock onto an enemy, it uh, has heat seeking. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's the same thing with your missiles. You know, they'll actually home in on the target if it's moving around. I actually found that out during me on the Mecha Ridley fight. Do you, you mean Meta Ridley? Meta Me Ridley, whatever. Mecha Ridley. Does it matter what you call him? Mecha Ridley's in uh, Zero. He has your mission. Does Meta it matter? Rid it's the same bastard. Meta Ridley was in the Prime series. Wait. Was Ridley even in... T oh, wait, you wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I never played Prime 2 or Prime 3. All I know from Prime 2 and Prime 3 is that there was an evil version of Samus that was created by her corruption suit. That was left over at the end of 1. That's the only thing I really know about 2 and 3. And that wants it, you dead because it's a jackass and it's evil. But then again, that's all the qualification you need to uh, hate Samus. I'm serious, I have a little pamphlet right here. It says, how to hate Samus in three easy steps. And how to fail a jump in one easy step. <laughs> uh... Well, isn't that the point of this LP? Is to fail? To fail or to fail jump? Oh, you mean to fail and jump? Yeah, I guess so. I still think one of my favorite things to do is plasma beam pirates. Oh, well, the plasma beam pirates are so easy. You just set them on fire. No, I mean to plasma beam the pirates. Oh. Oh, for some reason I thought you were talking about the Plasma Pirates.